Welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. Hey, we're talking about how uniquely and specifically God made you and the fact that He made you for a purpose. He wants you to be you. He has literally shaped you for service. And it's when you understand that, that the fulfillment, the true fulfillment of being a Christian starts to happen. In Ephesians 2.10, it says, We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God, listen to this, prepared in advance. He prepared them in advance. We just need to figure them out and walk in them. So far, we've gone through the first two ways God has shaped you. The S in shape is the fact that as a believer, God has given you spiritual gifts. Then secondly, we said God has given you a heart for something specific. This is your heart passion or passions, something that you absolutely love to do. And today, we're going to talk about the A, and that is the fact that God has given you certain abilities. Certain abilities. Romans 12, 6 says this, God has given each of us the ability to do certain things well. Those are the natural abilities that you're given the moment you were born. Now, this is where you don't have to necessarily be a Christian to get abilities. It's how we use the abilities that we've been given because God gives us all abilities in certain areas. God gave me the ability to play baseball and it was playing professional baseball that I was first introduced to the gospel. So he used the abilities that he gave me to open my eyes to his grace and his love in my life. And everybody has some natural abilities. Some of you are really good at numbers. You can add, subtract, divide, geometry. You sailed through, no problem with algebra, calculus, whatever. Whatever Others are going, math, ah, I can't do it. Some of you are good with words, talking, maybe good with writing. Some of you are good at building things. Some of you are good at putting cars and trucks back together. Some of you are good farmers. Some of you are good with people. Some of you are not so good with people. Some of you are really good with animals, Some of you have natural athletic ability and some of you are uncoordinated. You just don't have it when it comes to natural abilities in the area of athletics. Okay, but here's the point. It doesn't matter. We're all made differently. Some of you are brilliant engineers. Some of you have leadership abilities. Some of you have musical abilities. You pick up an instrument and in a few days, man, you're playing that thing. You you might have an incredible ear for, for music and for slight variations in sound. That's a gift that God has given you, these abilities. Some of you have great voices and you can sing. Others of you are prison singers. You're always behind a few bars and you never have the right key. (laughs) Come on, that's fine. I don't care how many times I use it. That's funny. Okay, but, but here's the thing. It's true. Your gift to the rest of us is just don't sing. That's a gift, an ability. Okay, God wants you to use those abilities that he's given you to use them for him and for the kingdom. Think about it. He doesn't just want you to use those to make money, retire, and die. Okay, so how can you put those spiritual gifts, heart, and abilities to use for the kingdom of God? I want to encourage you. We have the seven steps classes. It's a whole process we take you through. And in step three, we really look at this area of your shape because we want to really help you understand and dig deeper into realizing how God created you and plug you into areas that really you're going to serve with a whole heart and you're going to love it because it's exactly where you fit. I want to encourage you, start figuring that out today because today matters.